I want to take a moment today to discuss the Walther PPK again a little bit. Uh, I have mentioned many times on YouTube that I think this is the most accurate gun I've ever owned, or at least one of the most accurate guns, probably right up there with the uh, Sig Sauer P232. And uh, when I say that, I get different responses from people. I get people who don't have a lot of experience with the PPK that are surprised by that. And they kind of wonder, why is it so accurate? And then I get uh, responses from people that have had experience with the PPK that usually agree with me. They say it's uh, one of the most accurate guns they've ever shot also. Uh, you have people say the gun is so good that it makes them look like they can shoot even though they can't. And I'm kind of in that boat too. This gun, if I take it to the range, I can sit and uh, shoot four inch spinners at 30 yards and people think, wow, that guy can shoot, but it's mostly the gun. I mean, this gun, just you just point it and it, it hits its target. Uh, now, it does take you know some practice to do it, but a good gun never hurts. Now today I want to take a moment, I want to compare it to another gun here, and that's my uh, car, MK40. These are very similar in size, you can see here. Get it straightened up there. You can see those are very similar in size. They have very similar barrel lengths. Uh, they have very similar grip sizes. They're just very similar guns. The car is thicker. Uh, the PPK is a little bit longer overall, but they're very similar. Barrel lengths are very similar, very similar in length. I mean, probably maybe a quarter inch difference between the two of them. So that's why I want to compare the two different designs here. And I want to talk to people about why the PPK. I want to answer that question of why is the PPK so accurate. To put it simply, what makes the PPK so accurate is the design of the gun. It is a blowback design. Now, the car and other similar guns, most guns that you're familiar with, are lock breech design. Which is a great design, but is not as inherently accurate as the blowback. And uh, there's reasons why the blowback design is more accurate, and we will go over those here. Okay, I've taken the slides off here so that I can illustrate the differences between the two designs. Uh, now, as you can see with the car, there's the recoil spring assembly and the barrel and everything in there. And as you can see with the PPK, nothing in there. The reason there's nothing in there is because all these parts that are separate parts in the lock breech design are integral parts of the frame on a PPK. So when you start looking at the differences here, let's take this apart. Okay, now that we've got that apart, here's the barrel for the car. Now your barrel and your slide have to be locked together. If they're not locked together, you're not going to get accuracy from your sights. They have to be tightly locked together to get a really good accurate uh, sight picture, to get a really good accurate, accurate shot. Now, the thing with the lock breech design is this barrel, when the slide cycles back, because of the way they're designed, they have to tilt up a little bit. So there has to be a little bit of movement between the slide and the barrel because they're two separate pieces. It's separate from the frame, it's separate from the slide, and it has to be able to move a little bit when it when you fire the gun. Now with the PPK that's not the case. It does, the barrel does not move. The slide simply slides straight back and the barrel stays completely stationary forward. That gives you two advantages. One, since the barrel doesn't have to tip, then they don't have to, they don't have to work out the mechanics of allowing the barrel to lock up tightly yet still giving it enough give to tilt when the barrel slides back. Uh, so that means you can get a tighter lockup between your barrel and your slide because there's no movement other than on that vertical axis. axis. That's the only movement. Uh, on a, the blowback, on the, on the lock reach, it's different. You, know, the, you have to have a little bit of movement in the barrel upward. So you have two different planes of movement there. In the uh, blowback here, you just have the one. It just slides straight back, straight forward. So it can be as tight as you want it to be because there doesn't have to be any give anywhere between the barrel and the, the, the slide. Then you also run into, you're going to be more accurate out of a uh, bench because the barrel is part of the frame. So whenever the frame is locked tightly in a single position, so is the barrel. Now that's not the case in a situation like this because these are two different pieces. So even though the uh, barrel may be tightly locked to the slide, if there's any give between the slide and the frame, even though it's tiny, that every time that gun resets, that the barrel could be in a slightly different position in relationship to the frame. Now that doesn't affect accuracy all that much, especially not mainly just from a bench. If you're shooting from hand, you're always lining up your sights. So your sights are what important, and that means as long as your barrel and your slide are lined up together, as long as your barrel and your slide are locked up tightly, you've got a good sight picture and you can shoot an accurate round because you know you adjust your hand to where your sights are at and the relationship of the barrel to the to the uh, frame doesn't make that much of a difference but in a vice 
the frame stays stationary and you can't adjust that. So it does matter in a, in a vise. So in a vise, the blowback is always going to be more accurate because there is no variance between the barrel and the frame. So when you take those factors into account and you take into the fact that the barrel does not have to move in relationship to the frame and the barrel does not have to move in relationship to the slide, just straight forward and backwards, you get a more accurate uh, weapon. I mean, it's just inherently more accurate. There's less movement, so you have more accuracy. Uh, now, on the blowback design, there's a reason why blowback's not optimal, though, because because of the fact that the barrel doesn't move, it doesn't absorb any of the recoil. So all the recoil is going straight back into your hand. I mean, it's going straight out of that barrel and straight back into your hand. Whereas with, say, the lock breech here, some of the recoil is being taken away by the barrel slide, by the barrel tilting upwards. That and not being a part of the frame or the slide. Some of that uh, recoil is allowed to dissipate and some of it is taken from the barrel itself moving. So you get less recoil from the lock breech, but you get a more accurate gun with a blowback. That's why the SIG P232 and the PPK are just guns that are so, most people find them so easy to shoot. It's just the difference in design.